just talk to him real quickly. The eight crewmen of the Howard Reed looked tired and depressed as they sat outside the Coast Guard station, waiting their turn to answer investigators' questions. They had left Hampton at 1.30 this morning on a 30-day scallop hunt. Two hours later, the boat suddenly jarred. The men fell out of their berths. Dean Sander reacted quickly. Ran up to the wheelhouse to make sure the captain was all right and he was all right. Ran down below and noticed that the after bulkhead in the engine room was taken on water heavily. The Coast Guard was radioed. 20 minutes later, they arrived with pumps. Two Navy men came along to help. One of them nearly drowned. Yes, he was caught in an undersurge. When the boat finally did go below, he slipped and fell and uh, tried to get a hold of the boat that we were on and lost his grip and uh, was pulled underneath the water and disappeared for about 18 or 20 seconds. That sailor's okay now. The fishing boat, though, with a six-foot gash in its side, never had a chance. She stopped going. I think she sunk about five seconds, something like that. These men are now out of work, and the Seaford Scallop Company is minus an $800,000 boat. Sounds like a pretty miserable turn of events. Well, of course, it could have been worse. One of the crewmen on the Howard Reed told me everything must have turned out all right because we're still alive. At the Little Creek Coast Guard base, Joel Rubin, The Daily News.